Hey y'all, Mr. Patient here at Heritage Ways. And uh, what I'm working on today is a project that I've been needing to do for weeks and probably even months, uh, but I'm just now getting to it. And this is purely a project for, well, it's for all of us, but mainly for Miss Katie and, and Little Miss Homemaker because they love the birds. We, we've got several shepherd's hooks around the yard that we've got bird feeders on. and uh, But the problem is we seem to be feeding more squirrels than birds. So today what I'm doing is I'm putting in a post to um, hold the bird feeders. But also I'm going to uh, engineer it. You like that? engineer it that's good wasn't it i'm going to engineer it so that the squirrels can't get to the bird feeders so that's what i'm working on and this is right outside the kitchen window so that so that they can watch the birds while they're in the kitchen so what i'm going to do is i got to dig the hole i've got a six foot uh, i've got an eight foot four by four and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it two foot in the ground so I've got to dig a two foot hole and then that'll have it six foot out of the ground which is about this high because I'm 6'3". And then I'm going to have some hooks off of it to hang the bird feeders on. So y'all hang on, we're getting ready to go to work. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We've got our hole dug, and one of the things that we're gonna do, we dug it deeper than we wanted it, but what we're gonna, and the reason we did that is because we're gonna put some gravel in the bottom, and then we're gonna, we're just gonna put a little layer, we're gonna tamp it down to get it good and set, and then we're gonna put some more gravel on top of that, and what that's gonna do is when we put our post in there, it will keep the post First of all, it'll keep it off of the dirt, but it'll rise it up, or it'll raise it up, so that if water gets in the hole, the water will be at the gravel, and it won't get up to the bottom of the post and rot the post out prematurely. So basically, by doing this, it's helping us preserve our post longer. So we're gonna put a little gravel in here, tamp it down, and then put some more, and then we're gonna put our post in and see how see how we are in concrete around it. <clears throat> now we're let's tamp that down to get it good and set. Let's see how deep we are. Because I'm wanting the post to be about 24 inches deep. So let's put a little more. So I think that'll be good. Alright, now. Here, let me, let's tamp that a little bit. So I just got it a little higher than I want it, but hey, that'll be okay. It doesn't have to be exact. All right, so we're gonna leave this here. We gotta go get a bag of concrete. Now, here's the way I do this. This is just me. 
a lot of people when they set a post in concrete a lot of people what they'll do is they'll they'll get them a bucket or something they'll pour their concrete mix in there they'll wet it down they'll go ahead and and uh, get it all wet mixed up pour it in there and let it set I don't do it that way what I do is I get my post in here and I put my level on it get it level and then I pour the dry concrete mix down in there I'll pour some down in there I'll add some water pour some more add some water and then once I get it all in there I'll take me a stick maybe three foot long or a rod or something and I'll just kind of jab it around in there because all you need is a little bit of moisture plus that concrete mix is going to draw moisture from the ground to help set it as well so to me it's not worth the trouble of mixing it all up and pouring it down in there when you can actually just do it in the hole that's just me so we're going to leave this here for a minute we're going to go get the level get the concrete mixed and we're going to come back and we're going to start setting it in the hole all right so here's what we got so we got it in the hole we got it somewhat level doesn't have to be perfect just yet i'm going to start pouring some of this in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to pour a little bit all the way around to help shore it up do is you just kind of poke around it and just kind of stir it around a little bit that way because like I said it's gonna it's gonna take on the moisture got that in we got it level we got the concrete that's all the, that's all we're going to do as far as concrete a lot of people will say well you need to let that set up but I don't let it set up I go ahead and start putting the dirt back in and tamping the dirt down because like I said the concrete's going to set may take it a little longer which that's okay because when you're setting concrete the slower it sets the more strong the harder the concrete will be so it's actually better for it to set slowly so I'm gonna grab a shovel and we're gonna start filling it we'll put a we'll put some dirt down in there we'll tamp it down we'll put some more dirt tamp it down until we get back up to ground level I'm going to put a little dirt around. And then I'm going to take my tamping bar. And if you guys don't have one of these, this is an amazing tool to have. Because when you're setting posts like this, you don't want the dirt around the post to be loose. You want it good and tight. Well, the only way you can get it good and tight is to tamp it. That's what's going to help set your post really well. So I'm just going to go right around the post. Using the flat end. And just letting the weight of the bar do most of the work. Alright.
one of the things that I like to do too, after I get it all packed down, is the last little bit that I put on there, just kind of build it up around like that so that the water will run away from the post so that'll help with the premature rot of the post as well. So this is a four by four. From corner to corner is five inches. So one of the things that I've got, I've got a, uh, it's either a four or a five foot section of five inch diameter stove pipe. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that on here and attach it to this post because the squirrel, if I just leave it like this, the squirrel can just climb right up the post. He can dig his claws in and go right up. But by putting the stove pipe on here, his claws can't get into that stove pipe. So what we'll do is we'll put some screws in the four sides at a couple of places. But one thing I gotta do as well is that squirrel could technically go up through that pipe. So one of the things I gotta do as well is at the top of this pipe, I'm gonna take that stove pipe and I'm gonna, I'm gonna bend the top. I'm just gonna take the top where it's out here and I'm gonna bend it over like that to where it can't get up through that hole. So we're gonna, we can get that. We can put that on here, affix that to it. And then after we get that on, get the top cap on, we should be good and we should only be feeding birds at that point. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Like I said a minute ago, this is a four by four treated post from corner to corner, it's five inches. And I've got a five inch diameter stove pipe. So now what we're gonna do, this thing is actually five foot tall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this thing and put it right down on the ground to where a squirrel can't get into it anyway. And we'll have about a foot or so here that we can attach the uh, bird feeder hooks to. So this may be a tight fit, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try to slide this thing right down on here. And hopefully we can pull this thing all the way down without having to shave the post. But that is really tight. Put a block of wood, a two by four, and take a hammer and see if we can just tap, tap, tap all the way around and, and work it down to get it to where I've got about a foot of the wooden post showing. All right, let's see if this will work without bending it all to pieces. So now a squirrel can't get up the post and we'll put our hooks on, our cap on, good to go. So today, so we've got it set and today we're gonna put a cap on, we're gonna put this little copper cap on, that way it'll keep any squirrels from going from the branches up top onto this because he's not gonna be able to hold on to that. So we're gonna put this on and then we're gonna put a hook on all four sides. Now. On this cap here, it actually says to use construction adhesive to put it on. But I don't have any, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some little, some small nails, little tacks to, and I'm gonna put it on and then I'm just gonna, just gonna put a nail on all four sides just to hold it on and keep it secure because that's really all you're needing. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna do and probably, I'm just thinking about it, I probably, I'm going to need to um, drill me a pilot hole in all four sides of this. Hello. Okay, so yeah, I forgot to tell you guys that I've got little Miss... Little Music Man, yeah, not that's Little him. Miss Man. He's, like, he's not Little Miss, Miss Homemaker, he's Little Music Man. So I've got him with me to help me. Uh-huh. Alright, so we've got, our, we've got our holes drilled. Let's see, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Uh, yeah, see that right there? Uh, right there, see the little holes? So basically what I did is I just built a, drilled a little pilot hole 
so that the nail will go in there and it won't crush the sides of this when I'm trying to nail it in. All right. So really all I'm needing this to do is just hold this thing so that it doesn't come off in the wind or the weather. Four different types of hooks. Okay, let's see if you can see it. All right, so we got this kind, which is a little shorter hook, which we can put on a, a small bird feeder for like finches and stuff. And we've actually got a larger version of that one. Okay. And then we've got this one, which is a little more decorative. And then we've got a, a larger one that's decorative as well. Okay, what we do is I'm going to get snug. And I have to move it to make sure I'm straight up and down when I put it up. Alright, there you go. There's our completed bird feeder. It even looks like a bird. Now, kind of headish. See y'all later.